report by the BBC has uncovered that Gondar University, in cooperation with Amhara regional authorities, has been exhuming mass graves of Tigrayan civilians extrajudicially killed by Ethiopian forces and the Fano earlier in the conflict. The report said regional authorities, along with the university staff, were working to systematically destroy evidence related to crimes that Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International say amount to war crimes against humanity. Eyewitnesses say the bodies were exhumed and taken to unknown locations and at times sprayed by unidentified chemicals. Earlier this month, Ethiopian Broadcasting Agency and Amhara Mass Media had come out with a report that claimed they had uncovered mass graves some four decades old that were allegedly of Amhara civilians killed in early 90s. The reports had triggered social media outroar by human rights activists that said the Ethiopian government was systematically destroying evidence of its crimes in Western Tigray. The report was based on multiple eyewitness accounts that say they witnessed mass graves with as many as 200 bodies being exhumed and the bodies relocated to unknown locations. The eyewitness said Amhara and Eritrean forces, the Fano as well as Gondar University staff, allegedly oversaw the exhumations. One eyewitness said that the militia publicly boasted that the evidence of crimes committed against the Grind civilians would never be uncovered and confirmed the involvement of Gondar University in the systematic destruction of evidence regarding mass killings of civilians in Western Tigray. Exhumations were witnessed in Humara, Adabai, and Baha. The exhumation was witnessed as early as April 4, just days before an attempt by the Ethiopian government to block funding for an independent UN-led investigation into atrocities in Ethiopia failed.